Hello everybody. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Phineas Fisher hacking the hacking team. One of the uh, key aspects that I saw from this is the CEO. And what I mean by that is that this that the C CDO did not want to update his software. Why wouldn't the CEO want to update his software? So, so Phineas Fisher was able to get into their network through an outdated firewall and a virtual private network system. Also, the system administrator installed a new fi firewall despite the CEO refusing. So we seen that the CEO did not want to update his software, his system for Phoenix Fisher uh, to get hacked. Also, I find this kind of strange that that the hacker team, the CEO of the hacker team, was basically harassing former employees, which made Phoenix Fisher come out of hiding for about two years. Sounds kind of coincidence to me that when you see somebody, you see somebody from another team getting, getting, ha uh, getting harassed, and now you come out of hiding for two, for two years and go on the attack. Coincidence. But with the NIST reflection of this, it's basically the CEO. He should have updated his system. And should have been running true speed because by him doing this, he could have been running audits on his system because we don't know how old was this actual system or framework that he was running. We don't know. We knew that it was outdated, but how outdated was it? But for him not to update his system and really not putting the money into it, you see they were easily able to get hacked through a firewall that was up. Also, with the CIS, basically, he was vulnerable. You having an outdated system. He could have took any of the CIS controls and implement that in and really would have protected him through this. But by him refusing to not update the software, and also you kind of can blame the system administrator because they should have been more consistent with, with, with him. Yes, they installed new software, but it seemed like that did not help. So if they would have stayed more consistent with everything maybe this would have never happened or it would have been another way that this could have been all avoided or it wouldn't have been as harm as we see it is also with the ACS strategies to migrate he could have just took one one of the migration tool and he would have been he would have been fine because what Phoenix Fisher did was put all the information out there on their Twitter feed. Files, it would have saved them. Instead of one day system administrators playing water warcraft. And he could have been able to notice this. Phoenix Fisher in the system because that's how Phoenix Fisher got in the system. He he was in the system for weeks because he was seeing one of the system administrators playing World of Warcraft. But for last the mirror attack, they could have just did a defensive evasion on it with direct volume access. That would have kind of stopped. It would have gained control on who got all these files. But since there was since the system was outdated, really wasn't nothing being done. 
this was going to happen regardless. So, that was Phineas Fisher hack on the hacking team. Thank you.